Tiger made eagle here late in the day yesterday to seize that one shot lead after 54 hole lead in this major championship. In fact, that's the only other time he's made eagle here at Torrey other than the first time he won the first of six PGA Tour titles here at Torrey. He eagled this hole to put that one away. So he has eagled a hole here at Torrey Pines to win a PGA Tour event. Can he do it in the U.S. Open? Well, first things first. Got to hit that fairway, Roger. <laughs> Just needs to hit the fairway. One of these two players, you know, for Rocco to win this outright would be a minor miracle. But you remember what happened on the last par five? Number 13, guys both hit it in the ice plant. Uh, had to drop with a penalty. So, you know, he... That would, might have been the turning point of the championship for Rocco, and if he can dodge two uh, birdies here and, and win it outright, that'd be pretty lucky. And Westwood shouldering England's hopes of having a U.S. Open champion for the first time in 38 years. But first things first, got to hit that little sliver of fairway. Got to get it into the fairway. Yep. Wind's coming off from the left from the ocean. Tee shot gonna miss right, I believe. It's moving out that way. Yeah, he missed it big time. Well, Rocco's dodged the half of one now. I mean, he can birdie from there, but it takes the eagle out of it unless he holds his wedge shot, huh, Roger? Yeah. This might well, be the bigger bullet to dodge right here. The guy with a red shirt on Sunday in a major. Well, let's see if he goes to that same shot he played here yesterday, John. That great big squeeze fade. Well, those practice swings aren't a squeeze fade. Those are a neutral down the middle rip like he hits on number nine that he's done so well. He's not practicing the open club face with the hold off fall through with the toe turns down a la Ben Hogan at Marion. For a little fade, it looks like. And he starts this ball well left, and it's cutting, but it's not going to come back enough. It's going to miss left. Boy, and Rocco dodges another one, middle of the bunker for Tiger. How's it going to end here at Torrey Pines? Rocco clinging to a one. We mentioned how close Rocco Mediate is to his uh, college teammate from Florida Southern, Lee Jansen. And there is the two-time U.S. Open champion waiting with Rocco to see if there's going to be another U.S. Open title for that Division II school. So a couple of birdies here trying to tie Mediate. Eagles by Woods or Westwood would win it. But what's the uh, proposition right now, Roger, out there? Well, you know, neither one of them has what I would term a perfect lie. Uh, Lee Westwood has 227 yards to the hole, or two, excuse me, 228, and Tiger has 227. And it's just settled down enough in his that I think it would be questionable trying to hit a wood, certainly. And you'd have to hit a perfect iron and chase it up on the right if you tried to do that. Well, on the tee, being this the easiest hole on the golf course, the odds of these two terrific players not birdieing were pretty slim and none. But now it's starting to get a little dodgy, Roger, with those tee shots, whether they can do it. Yeah. Layup. I really think this is the right play, John. I just... It would be putting too much on one swing, and it would have to be absolutely perfect. Yeah, that lake and that shaved bank is just asking for Tiger to try it. Mistake there. All right, Westwood now. It's 
he out there, Roger? What's he doing? Yeah, I believe he's laying up as well, Johnny. He yeah. can't be trying to go for it. No, I don't think so. He could, you know, he could do a one out of five, but maybe not the last hole of U.S. Open. Need birdie to tie. Needs a good layup. Shouldn't be any problem. Well struck, Roger. Yes, this will be fine. This is going down the left side of the fairway. I think it should stay in the fairway. Pretty good angle right there. Got to come over the water, though. While we have a moment, let's go down to Mark Rolfing. All right, thank you, Dan. Rocco and I are standing here watching what's going on at 18. Rocco, what's going through your mind? I, that's all I had. <laughs> I, I left it all out. I'm all over the golf course out there. It was the most fun you could ever, I could ever have dreamed it would have been, and I, I held myself together somehow. It was what, dicey at times. <laughs> what makes you the proudest about the way you played today? Just knowing who's behind me and paying attention to what was going on. I had some opportunities to get maybe a couple up there, and I just missed them. And, um, you know, I, I haven't been in this situation, well, I'm ever really this close ever in a major, so it was cool. cool to, I felt good. You know, I gave it a few hooks, which I tend to do at times, and um, but I kept it together somehow, and I made some good putts coming in on 16 and 17. And, and the, the one on 18 was as scary as I had. It's only two feet. <laughs> was there ever, was there ever a time out there where you were thinking about winning the U.S. Open? When I got when I when I when I buried the second hole, I just said just keep putting the ball in the fairway in the greens and you could win this thing. And obviously a few mistakes happened and then all of a sudden you're trying to hold on and I'm watching what they're doing and no one went crazy and Tiger started bad again and no one no when he was coming back. I knew he wasn't out of it when he was two or three over par after three holes. So just try to keep doing your job. All That's right, let's watch what's going to happen now. Let's see what happens. I don't. I can't do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Rocco telling it like it is. He's played in 43 major championships previously, has never won. Now, what about Tiger, Roger? Well, I, I don't know that I'd describe his lie as being in a divot, but there has been a shot played from here, and the grass disturbed. It is still like down in a hole. That would be uh, uh, misstating it, but uh, it's, it's, it could be worse, but it's going to be very hard to spin the ball with the hole cut in front. That's the issue. 99 yards he's got left. Excuse me, 105. 99 to the front. In his 13 major victories, He's had to birdie the 18th or the 72nd hole only once at the 2000 no PGA. No chance. That's such a small window. Just in the water. Water is great. It's window. And that was at that par window. five. Window. Par five finishing hole at Valhalla. Third shot, par five. It'll kick left and spin left, so he's got to keep it about 10 feet right of the hole if he wants to get it close. Or can he hit it flush? And can he get the right distance, Roger? We'll see. Guys, remember last year at Oakmont, he needed birdie on the 18th and final hole to tie Cabrera. Makes a mighty lash at it at the bottom. Can you get lucky and get the right distance? Look at this, gonna funnel down that hill. That's a pretty darn good shot. He's gonna need to make that as Rocco watched it. For that perfect 13 and 0 54 hole record. And the major championship will be over. Don't check out of your hotel, Rocco. Now, Westwood in his third. This is a much easier shot, Roger. Yes, less than a full wedge here, Johnny. Only 74 yards. He's never been this nervous, ever. Get it up because of the spin will spin it right down that bank into the lake if he doesn't carry it almost just short a hole high. Oh, 
This looks pretty good. Spins. Well, it took a big first hop. And it's just hard to hit it that smoothly when your nerves are so riled up. <laughs> Comes down to the flat stick. And Tiger Woods involved in another dramatic conclusion to another major competition. And this crowd recognizing what he has been through this week. After a third knee surgery on the left knee, grimacing his way to perhaps forcing a playoff. And Lee Westwood at age 35, 27 wins worldwide. Never a major title. And trying to win one for Europe and England as well. Two final bullets here for Rocco Mediate to try to dodge. And Westwood's hung in there one under par the last four holes to put himself in a chance to force a playoff tomorrow. So you got to hand it to him. He started playing the game 13 years old. His father John watching back home. Rocco watching on the monitor. Arnold Palmer back in Latrobe watching. Hoping that his man Rocco Mediate can put away that elusive major. First time I've ever seen him not talking. And Tiger Woods on his first Father's Day as a father. This has got a lot of left to right break, Roger. Yeah, this is a big sweeper from left to right and downhill. This is this is uh, certainly the harder of the two putts. Yeah, Tiger's putt is just going to move a little right, I think, but it's not that tough a putt considering this one. This one is really going to swing, and you got to get match your speed with the break, otherwise you miss. Lee looks up to his father so much and says that he has not had a coach for the last year and a half. He got away from all the technical things that were being told to him by various coaches and he said really the only guy that's watched and the only pair of eyes that watches him now is his father who he started playing this game really at a late age 13 years old in contrast to Tiger who pretty much came out of the womb with an iron in his hand. Yeah, this would be a pretty good Father's Day present for his dad then. Absolutely he's watching back in England. Eight or nine inches outside left. Westwood's going to come up short. One last bullet for Rocco Mediate to try to avoid. Two over 73 for Westwood, who began the day one behind Tiger. Well, the scene is set again for Tiger Woods in a major championship. Look at this. this is, it doesn't get any more exciting for Rocco than this. It's like, oh my gosh, Tiger Woods to beat the timing. Rocco was so excited last night. It's so exciting he said to be a part of the major championship with Tiger involved. I don't think he could have imagined it would come down to Tiger with a putt to time and force an 18 hole playoff. Roger is he just off the foul line where we'll move to the right a little. I, I mean a little left. I mean I think the very start of the putt it moves a little left. It may straighten up around the area of the cup but yeah. there's going to be a little left movement initially. I had it like one or two inches moving left but it's hard to tell the angle. And Rocco trying to become the first player ever to track down Tiger Woods in a major championship when he's had the 54 hole lead. So you think it's outside the hole just a little bit Roger? just off the hole just off the hole if it has any speed and fast.
Expect anything different? Rocco, you've got Tiger for 18 holes tomorrow. What a birdie from the lie he had on the third shot. And that ball went in by a hundredth of an inch. This ball could have lift out just as easy as it went in. The kicks have a long hole. <laughs> Little double fist pump, chest up in the air. Here's how close this came to maybe not going down. But when you're Tiger Woods, Oh, man. They don't dare wiggle out. Another 70-second pole scene from Tiger Woods. Now listen to what Rocco had to say.